Hey, hey artists! Welcome to another video. Today is going to be the 19th painting in my 30 paintings in 30 days challenge. Painting another fish today. It's a little out of my comfort zone, but that's okay. It's about growth. So what I wanted to talk about today are my steps for planning for success. Now, this is a very vague, broad topic, but it's something I really want to talk about because these are things that I developed myself over time through a whole lot of trial and error. And frankly, I apply this to so many different areas of my life, art included. So yeah, let's talk. So like I mentioned, this can be applied to so many different things. So let's just stick with art here. So this could be promotions. It could be starting a new art series. It could be launching your art business. You name it. These are obviously all very different things, but I always approach them the same way. I kind of break it down into four steps. So the first step, and this is one that a lot of people tend to skip, but is so important. And whenever I'm starting something new, I make sure that this is the very first thing that I do. And that is to figure out why you want to do that thing. Whatever you're about to do, it will take effort. So we need to make sure that the effort is worth it. Also, figuring out why you want to do something it's really going to help if you get down to the core message and this is going to help you to keep going even when you want to give up because like we said this thing that you're about to do will take effort and yeah you might reach a point where you're like okay i'm tired i want to give up now but if you remind yourself about why you're doing it it's going to make you so much more likely to keep going so that's the first step Second step is to break up the process into three or four big chunks and then set timelines for those chunks. Now these can be different phases. For example, if I'm planning a new art series, this can be step one, gathering inspiration and references. Step two, planning compositions, color palettes, themes. Step three, creating sketches, acquiring your materials. And then step four, painting and actually creating the art series. For timelines, I find timelines to be really helpful because sometimes if I don't set myself a timeline, it's really easy to procrastinate and just always be like, oh, there's always tomorrow or there's always next week or, you know, I don't feel like doing it right now. <laughs> timelines are helpful. So the third step is to break each of those chunks into smaller pieces that you can actually check off as you go. I find that this is oddly satisfying when you actually get to see that to-do list getting smaller. It gives you a bit of an endorphin rush and it just is so satisfying and I personally feel that this really helps me to keep moving forward. And the fourth step is to do the thing. Whenever you start to feel tired with your process, go back to step one and remind yourself about why you are doing this. And you're, you might reach a point where you do kind of fizzle out and burn a little bit. And you know what? That's okay. That is all part of the process. So start back with step one. Remind yourself about why you're doing this. Move through. Maybe you need to make some adjustments as far as your timelines go or even break that to-do list into smaller pieces so that you can feel like you are still making progress. But yeah, so those are my generalized steps for planning for success. And I highly recommend that you give them a try too. This can be in any area of your life. And yeah, I wish you all the success in the world. All right, thank you so much for listening and watching and I will see you in the next video.